don't have to tell you. I know I don't have to tell these people how much I wish this was Friday right now. <laughs> it's feeling good. It's feeling real good. And we you know what? Rolling, we got some great stuff to hold us over to Friday because later on in this show, we're going to have uh, Dead and Company, the Grateful Dead and John Mayer playing here. Two nights. We're doing two night stand. They're here tonight and they're here tomorrow night. You're not going to miss a minute of any one of these shows. Yeah, it's going to kill. Now, folks, uh, you're not going to want to miss the next two acts either because my first guest tonight is an Oscar winner. You know from Argo, Gone Girl, and now as Batman in Justice League. What are we under right now? Gotham Harbor. Please welcome Ben Affleck. Thank you very much. It's very exciting. I understand that you've, you've never been in the Ed Sullivan Theater before. I have never been here. No, I never did Letterman, and um, I, I'm pretty sure I remember if I'd done your show before. But uh, no, uh, we've met before. We've yes, met a couple times yes, in the have. past. Last time we were, uh, at, you were at the, the after party at the Emmys that we That's threw right. over there. It was nice. You know, and this is a banal thing to say to a guest, but you're way taller than I thought you would be. <laughs> Do you get that a lot, or am I just dumb about Ben Affleck? No, no, I, uh, yes, I get that a lot. I yeah, get that all the time. Yeah, yeah. And, and my, my ex-wife, Jennifer, also used to babysit for you. Exactly. So we have a to family babysit connection. For my daughter. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Exactly. We saw, see you every so often out in the world. Yeah, yeah. Nice to so, see you again. There you go. Good to see you, too. Uh, congratulations on the Justice League movie. I mean, and, and, and the thing is, the movie's not out yet. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, movie, movie's not out yet, but you've already got, years ago, you already got the best possible review any actor could ever get. This is from September of 2013, and this must have made you so excited. Yes. Donald Trump, <laughs> everyone should calm down. At Ben Affleck is going to do a great job as Batman. Thank Come you. Come on. I, I have you to, to say, frame this for you, it or? really made me reconsider everything I've ever thought about the man. <laughs> Like, you know, he, he could be on to something. Yeah. He could be a genius. He could be. Just don't... That guy so... should be the commander in chief. <laughs> he should certainly do casting after the, you know, mm -hmm. you get in the casting business. Mm -hmm. after have the... you ever talked to him? Have you ever met him? No. I have no, not. come on. I, I, I haven't. I passed by. You're a big famous guy and... out in the world, and for years you could still talk to Donald Trump and not go, who? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, I passed him at a couple of parties, and I heard that. In order to get permission to film at his properties, he insisted on being put in the movie as an extra. Wow. So you had to go through this whole ritual of like pretending, okay, now it's the scene, Donald. Action. <laughs> that was really? Great. Yeah, and then and then they'd say cut and he'd go home or you know, and uh, it never ended up in any of the movies. I think wow. actually there is one movie that he that that, that it Home Alone 2. Is that what it is? Home yeah, Alone yeah. 2. Yeah. The kid asks yeah. where the bathroom is, he goes, down the hall to the left. <laughs> There, that, there I think that's go. his line. It's yeah. not believable, but he says down the hall <laughs> and to the left. Um, okay, so uh, were you a superhero? Because you're playing a superhero now. That is a cultural touchstone now. Like all movies have superheroes at this point. <laughs> yeah, all of it seems them. That way, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, you, you were also. You want to have a movie released? You yes. should have a cape on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, you no, cut that part out fast. of Argo, but yeah. at a certain point, you did have it laser vision. It was a fight. Yeah. Now, so, did, but you were a superhero fan as a child? Did I you? was. I did. A, I did a high school movie. Uh, like I was really into, you know, the AV club. I was that guy pushing the VCRs around the school, you know, and uh, and we did a, a we made a little Superman movie where I played Superman. So I don't want to brag, but I've done. <laughs> Give a Henry Cavill any uh, any any points? Well, I showed it to him. You know, I okay. thought, yeah, I just thought it might be interesting for him to a few pointers, and uh, you know, <laughs> didn't go over well. 
Now, uh, uh, you and Jen have a, a, a son, uh, Sam? Yes. Five? Yes, five okay. years old, yeah. It's a good age, good age for superhero movies. Spectacular age, yeah. My daughters are totally over me and oh, really? think I'm possibly any less cool. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah but my yeah. son still is, you know, thinks I'm a superhero. Yeah. Which is pretty How spectacular. old are your daughters? Are they twins or anything like that? They're 11 and 8. 11 and 8. Yeah. They'll think you're cool again in about 15 years. <laughs> well, something to look forward to. To look Thank forward you. to. I'm now, what about Sam? Is, is Batman must be his favorite. Now that you're Batman, he must be his favorite superhero. He was, you know, thrilled that I was playing Batman, and we were whole, you know, starting up the publicity thing again, and it was coinciding with Halloween. And uh, he came to me and said, "Dad, I have a costume that I want more than anything." And I was like, I... <laughs> "What? <laughs> no, I have some connections." And he said, "I want to be Flash." So there you go. Wow. Turned out it wasn't worth it. Yeah. Yeah. The whole thing. Years of my life sure. wasted. Maybe Flash can <laughs> maybe Flash can pay for your college. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm sure you'll be gotta be very happy together. I'll yeah. charge him, yeah. Uh, now uh, do you get to keep as as Batman, he's got, you know, uh, gotta get those toys, as as the Joker says. Do you, yeah. do you get to keep any of the cool toys? Do you keep the Batmobile or I didn't, the bat, <laughs> I didn't get to keep the, the bat, bat cop? You could. They kept up, track like, of the Batmobile. Oh, they did. Yeah, okay. but, did you the, steal but there were some other stuff that fell off the truck. You know, oh, yes. and uh, yeah, like the like some speakers and stuff. I kept getting these phone calls from the prop department, like, "You sure you haven't found any of that stuff yet?" And I go, "No, son of a gun! I just can't. I don't." Did you know actually steal something? I did. Yeah. What? But, <laughs> You can't exactly have been, you know, stealing it if you got billed for it, which is what happened to me at the oh, end. Oh, okay. What'd they catch you with? Warner Brothers just sent me a chip. This turns out batarangs aren't cheap. <laughs> the batarang? Yeah. Does it actually work? Can you throw it? Does it actually do the thing, or is it just a prop? It'll hit guys. You know what I mean? If you can aim it at somebody, it'll, you know. So it has mass and weight. <laughs> yes. We're going to take a little commercial break. We'll be right back with Ben Affleck, everybody. Stick around. <laughs> 